What's up beautiful people? Today we're going to be checking out a father's fight against transgender activism. Let's get to it. I've made it my mission to spread awareness about the harm coming to kids who are being given experimental puberty blockers, cross-sex hormones, and surgeries. For the past year and a half, I have been going out on the streets and I wear these signs. I just have conversations with people. One person at We saw a video of him actually getting punched in the on the nose in Vancouver. At the time, I didn't want to look back at my life in 40 years and say, I knew all this harm was coming to kids and I just stood silently by. Hi, my name is Chris Elston and I'm a dad of two girls from the suburbs of Vancouver, British Columbia. Yeah. In 2019 and 2020, awesome. I became aware of these things called puberty blockers and I thought, what are those? And so I did a little bit of research and they are exactly what they sound like. Blood we are giving puberty. children drugs which stop their bodies from going into puberty. And I have two little girls, they're 10 and 12 now, but they were coming into this age where these kids, mostly girls, are being affected by this ideology and thinking that they're now boys. And they're being given these harmful drugs and hormones which sterilize them, which destroy their sexual function, which reduce their chance of having a relationship in the future. We shouldn't be stopping the development of perfectly healthy children. In Canada, none of our media will report the truth about this. Other countries have already done away with it. Sweden and Finland, and now France. You know, that's actually very true. That is actually very true. I don't see it on any of the media platforms in Canada. As a matter of fact, the only people that might report this are YouTubers, and people always tag them. Um, is it right-wing YouTubers? That is if YouTube doesn't block them or demonetize the channels. Are stopping this practice. And yet here in North America, and especially in Canada, everyone's just ignoring this. Are you familiar with the High Court decision last December? No, but did you know that they had the same Are you familiar with the Karolinska Institute in Sweden that just stopped this practice? And they're still fighting for their rights. Are you familiar that you... Finland just stopped this practice? Are you familiar Do you have any questions Finland? why these progressive countries are stopping this practice? The response from the public has been overwhelmingly positive. Easily more than 90% of people I run into on the street support what I'm doing. They see this as child abuse. It's just a really small but very vocal minority mm -hmm who are pushing this agenda. If people come up to me on the street. The Montreal police couldn't even bother to investigate. I got attacked by five people, punched in the head, punched in the face, all that sort of stuff. Got my sign stolen, got my body cam destroyed. With some hostility, or maybe they're on the yeah, fence. I think that's the video and they saw. get so confused because they were expecting me to be some bigot or something. I'll just tell them simply something that they can't help but agree with. I'll say, first of all, I don't think we should ever put a child in some stereotypical box. If a girl is a tomboy, if she's more masculine, mm -hmm. a boy's more effeminate, that's fine. And I'll just pause. Nothing? You got nothing? Do you read these things? Have you read these studies? And that might start the ball happened. rolling to get them looking into what the other side of this argument is. Because people have just bought propaganda. They think they're being kind. They think they're just helping these children to be who they really are. I know that we are going to win this battle. It's just a question of how much harm comes to kids before we do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he said something very important right there. He said people think they are being kind by following the propaganda. And that is actually true. People think these are good people. Like, these are not bad people. Good people who just think is is a nice way to accept people or to be inclusive. But at the end of the day, when you're accepting these things and there's something going on that you don't fully understand, it's not really helping the people. So what you think is being kind is actually not kindness, you know? Like I said in my previous video, love sometimes is, in fact, love is not passive at all. Love is not passive. Love is, I believe love is more of an action word. So if you want to show love, you can show love by saying, this is wrong. We cannot keep doing this. We cannot keep doing this. Like for me, and I know some people wouldn't even agree with this, but for me, I say if the kid or the child gets above 18 or 20 and chooses to do whatever they want to do, that's an adult making a decision. But as far as children, you're injecting this thing into children and kids' bodies. Totally unacceptable. Totally, completely not negotiable. We cannot even discuss this. No. No. And other countries are beginning to ban these things. Even in America, I think about 18 states in America now I've made bills against these things, but in Canada, I haven't heard any 
I haven't heard it yet. Yeah. Canada is totally prevalent and nobody is banning or talking about it. Those are just my thoughts. You can consider it speculations. Um, I'm not a professional in this field, so you don't have to listen to me. But I'm just saying, you know, I saw a video and I'm reacting to it. If you want to correct anything I've said, if you want to add to it, or if you want to critique anything, feel free to do so in the comment section. That being said, smash the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.